I am sitting here atop the furnace, which we have just finished building. Here is at the Mittelalterzentret in Denmark, and we are in the process of recreating the gun founding process of the early 16th century. Beneath yes. the steel plate, there is the firebox, which is yes. used to create the flames that are necessary to melt the large amounts of bronze needed to cast cannon. It is very exciting to do these experiments here in Denmark, as it is for the first time that such a furnace is recreated for an archaeological experiment. This furnace is a scale model, but will still be able to melt 350 kilograms of bronze. This is one of the openings used for charging the metal into the furnace. Let's have a look inside. The furnace possesses two arches. This one is to prevent the soil moisture creeping up into that part of the furnace where the liquid metal will be produced. This second arch is the lower part of the firebox which doubles as ash pit and air intake. Behind these stones there is the grill on which the wood is burned to produce the long flames needed for melting the metal. At the other end of the furnace there is a tap hole, indicated by this wooden plug. Here the molten metal will be tapped. The back of the furnace looks like its front. If you have a look into the furnace from the top, you can see the furnace dome in which the flames will reverberate and melt the bronze. You can also see the fire channel coming from the firebox, as well as the four chimneys from which flames will issue during use. To prevent the dome from expanding, this area is filled with earth and compacted before use.